Welcome to Cooking with Hilda. Today we are going to make a delicious homemade pan dulce. Pan dulce is very popular in Latin America, especially in Central America. And as you know, I am from Guatemala and we love to have a cup of coffee or hot chocolate every morning with pan dulce. It's delicious, especially if you bake it yourself. So let's bake it. To start making this delicious pan dulce that translates to sweet bread, we have to keep in mind two things. One is that ingredients have to be at room temperature, and two is that we have to treat time as an ingredient. Don't be impatient because this is a, maybe it takes longer to make pan dulce at home, but it's worth it. And we are gonna start by activating our yeast. And we warm up the milk to 110 degrees. Don't go above it because it's gonna kill the juice. Just 110 to is like warm. And we are sugar, one third of a, of a cup of sugar. This is like the food that the yeast love. So we add the yeast, we we'll give it a little stir. We cover and let it set until it's frothy. Now you're gonna start looking at all those bubbles and we want all those bubbles. While the gist gets ready and frothy, we, we sift flour, the rest of the sugar, and salt. We'll mix it very well, and when the gist is all frothy and you see all those bubbles, we add two cups of this flour mixture, the three eggs that are at room temperature, and half cup of melted butter, and we whisk it. We whisk it, and this is a secret to make this dough in an easier way. And when we finish adding the two cups of flour, the three eggs and the butter, it's time to add a very important ingredient, a very good quality vanilla. I use a vanilla bean, but you can use a vanilla paste or a vanilla essence, but it has to be a very good quality. vanilla beans because it's intense and you can see the vanilla little vanilla beans after you bake them you add the vanilla and then you use your dough hook attachment and mix in low while you add the rest of the flour and when you finish adding that you speed up to medium speed and then you mix this dough for around seven minutes it's gonna take no more than seven minutes and the dough is gonna be very smooth and a little bit sticky, but it's not gonna stick to your fingers. And that's when you know that the dough is ready. It's a beautiful dough. Now transfer this dough to a lightly oil covered bowl and let it rest until double its size. It can take from two to three hours. You cover it and let it rest. While we wait that our beautiful dough double its size, we prepare the beautiful decoration for our sweet bread. And this is very easy to make. You will need butter, powdered sugar, and flour. You can add also vanilla. I like to add vanilla, but if you don't like to add vanilla, it's okay. And we just mix it very well. This 
top and I divided it in two. And to the first part, I added gel color, pink gel color, and to the other one, cocoa powder. And I mix it again. Now when it double its size, you can uncover it and punch it. It's super satisfying. <laughs> So recipe is gonna give you 16 sweet breads. So I like to divide my dough in two and then I measure, I like to use my kitchen scale to be exact and have the same size in sweet breads. And I divide it and I form the little, little rolls by rolling them with my fingers, like you can use your fingers and form their You can see the vanilla veins so beautiful and make your little bowls same size not perfectly same size but they don't have to be perfect but very close in the shape and size you can have eight breads that are pink and beautiful and eight breads that are chocolate and delicious <laughs> now we grab the toppings and we divide each side in a little balls. Now we grab each one of these little balls and press it in your tortilla press until it gets a little bit bigger than your roll. the sweet bread just like that just set it carefully on top of them and when you finish with both of the colors we start making shapes you can use a knife you can use a fork you can use even like cookie cutters shapes whatever you like I like to use a pizza cutter and draw myself like little shapes that are like a shell shapes and I think that's beautiful so that's what I like, <laughs> but you can use your imagination. And we let this rolls rise again. So that's what I mean that you have to really treat time as an ingredient and be patient. Trust me, it's gonna be worth it. And when they're double its size, it's time to bake them in a preheated oven of 350 degrees 
from 18 minutes to 20 minutes until golden brown. And we bring the pan dulce out of the oven and let it rest from one to two minutes because I can't wait longer. Um, uh, we try it. I love it. I will show you how they look this morning <laughs> that I had it with my cup of coffee. Pan dulce recién salido del horno. Of course, your coffee. How beautiful it looks. Soft, fluffy. And you can see the vanilla beans there. So beautiful. Beautiful to watch. And delicious to eat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You are gonna love it. So thank you guys for being one more time here with me in Cooking with Hilda. And I really hope that you enjoyed these pan dulces. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. See you guys next time.